Hey Dan, what's up dude? How is everybody? Let me know if I'm echoing. I hopefully, hopefully it won't do it, but there's no guarantees. Unfortunately. So hopefully, hopefully we don't have any issues. Because it gets pretty annoying, but... Oh, well. Oh, well. We'll make this our personal vehicle. Might get up the radar. That could help. boom ba ba dum Alright. We are 10 8 in the CAD, so uh, we might go and get some petroleum. Some fuel probably won't be a bad idea. I'm not a huge fan of this charger, Dan. I mean, I like the black hubcaps, they look really nice. Um, I'm just not sure if I like the light pad on them. I got rid of the visor lights because I'm not a huge fan of them, but I don't know. It's kind of growing on me a little bit, this charger. I'm more of a fan of it now than what I was a couple of weeks ago. I mean, it's got a lot of lights. I mean, I can add more lights to it, but I mean, it's already got enough lights in my opinion. And they kind of look amberish a little bit. I don't know. I mean, it's, it's not a bad charger. It'll get the job done. Uh, we don't want to lock our car, thank you. Hey, Titan. How you doing, buddy? Well, welcome to the stream. Go and catch some bad guys, I guess. Maybe. It's not a bad charger, and I mean, the lights wigwag as well, which is not bad. The headlights. Rocking the traffic vest, yep, I thought we'd go unmarked with the traffic vest. That's what we do over here. You good, thanks? That's good, man. It's good to hear. I don't know where to go first. We might just go down towards Grove, I guess. Shannon will probably get shot at anyway, this patrol. She's on duty, so anything's possible. Hasn't got a bad interior. It's not a bad car. The Chargers have all had their friggin' engine sounds fixed, so they sound a lot better now. Shannon didn't get shot last time she was on patrol. She shot somebody, though. Oh, hang on. Maybe she did. I can't remember if that was the last time I used Shannon. It might have been Dan, actually. Because she did get shot that patrol. She shot somebody as well in that patrol too. What are you going to do though, I guess?
Hey John, should I get on patrol? Yes, yes you should. Yeah, she got shot. Yeah, yeah Dan, I don't know. Uh, they always go through this light when it goes red. Watch this, see? For some reason that one's wired backwards for some reason. Don't know why. We'll just roll with it. Might as well. Okay, John. Definitely got to step up our um, first person driving, that's for sure. Got to try not to wreck. I mean, technically Shannon hasn't crashed yet. Tom has. Plenty of times. Possible drunk drive up and Adam th drive through. Lincoln 320, I'll be in route to 567 for a possible intoxicated person. We're a little ways away from that. Intoxicated person at the up and atom. We do not want to get in a wreck while heading that way. Oh god, that's a. I'm not RPing that. That is absolute horse shit. Not RPing that at all. Why would they. That is just absolutely ridiculous. Not RPing that at all. The AI are just ridiculous. God, we're losing some frames. What are you doing? Yep. Hashtag stupid AI. Perfect timing though, Dan. What for that crash? Lincoln 320, I'll be 1097 in the area. Got a car up there with hazards lights on.
Gibson. He's got a bit of right, uh, left hand bumper damage right there. Yeah, the, yeah, Dan, they're, they're ridiculous. I don't know if that was on his screen, but he just hit that wall. What is happening? Okay. Fuck is that Slightly aggressive on the horn. I'll let it slide there because that stupid bitch wouldn't move. What's he doing? He's. It doesn't look like he knows what he's doing. Just roll to yield, son. That's okay. He's now in the gutter. Yeah, I think we'll pull this guy over. I think this guy might be intoxicated. Lincoln 320-1050, Clinton Ave on a black four-door fusion. Nearest postal 575 and 574. I guess we'll run and play. I think we've bummed into Mr. Gibson before. Comes back valid. Pretty sure we've run into this guy before, guys. I'm pretty sure. Michael. Michael. Pretty sure I've run into him. There we go. Driving under the influence. So I have met this guy before. I guess we'll go and see what he wants. See what's going on, I guess. Oh, we've got our seatbelt on. Hi sir, Officer Henry with the LSPD, how are you? Oh, I'm doing pretty good, Officer. You're doing pretty good, you got your license and registration and proof of insurance on you, sir? Yeah, 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 I'm gonna grab that for you real quick. Grab that for you real quick. <laughs> uh... Here you go, there's my ID and all the paperwork. The, no, the, name, the name is gonna be a Jerome Gibson. Okay, is... Sir, are you, are you intoxicated or anything like that? Yeah, I can't about that. No, of course not. Drinking and driving and... Driving and drinking is bad. Yeah, I, I agree, Mr. Gibson. I did look at your history there, and it looks like you've got a few prior DUI charges there, so I'm just making sure, okay? All right, Mr. Gibson, hang out. I'll be back with you. I'd say he's typing, typing away. Strong smell of alcohol. Lincoln three twenty. Can I get an additional unit to Clinton and correction? It's gonna be gonna be Clinton and Power Street five seven five. Why does the money keep coming up on the screen? We don't want that. 
Sorry, guys. It's not what we want, though. 593 will be your room momentarily. Alright. Does have a handgun permit. Mr. Gibson, do you have a firearm on you at all? Any weapons, drugs, or anything like that that we should know about? What was that, sir? I, I don't have any guns. Right. Do you mind stepping out of the vehicle for me, please, Mr. Gibson? Oh, yeah, I kind of mind. It's kind of comfortable in here, you know? Climate control and everything. Yeah, I understand, sir. My car has a climate control as well, but, um,. I, I just need to like step out of the vehicle, okay? 593, I'm, I'm en route to your call. Why, why is that? Oh, but he's stepping up, he's an intoxicated individual. 10-4, 10, 10 Yeah, that's alright, so we're just going to clear out some documentation and we'll hopefully have you on your way, okay? So just go ahead and step out of the vehicle and come up to my vehicle for me. Be advised, he's rolling, wait. Sir, sir, I need you to stop the vehicle, sir, sir. Say again. Uh, be advised, he's... Rolling away, he just rammed a fence, he's now going southbound on power. You'll see him, he has his hazards on. He's now going into postal 590. 10-4, just turned on the bus, or on two power now. Nice Gonna be stopped at 590. Sir, I need you to put your hands up and stop, okay? 593 is 1097 in the area. Go ahead and put your hands up for me, sir. Come on. Oh, God. What are you doing? Oh, this looks like a comfortable spot. Oh, yeah. Okay. I, it's, it's bedtime. He, he's not a threat, I don't think, guys. Mr. Gibson, go ahead and get up for me, please. No, I don't know. It's a bedtime. No, it's it's not bedtime. Come on, Mr. Gibson, go ahead and step up for me. I found a couple of places away. Mr. Gibson, go ahead and step up for me, please. I'll help you. Do you understand? Alright, what do you want? You got anything on his gun stick, poke or herders? No. Why is, is it, why is he pointing at me? That's scary. He's, well, sir, you rolled off from a traffic stop. Are you aware of that? Oh, I thought we were done. And you have you have a beer in the back pocket here. Like, what? what's that about? Well, you know, you gotta keep a beer in your boot. For good luck. Right. Okay. Well, go ahead and walk back towards your car, okay? Go and stand in front of mine. Mine's gonna be the white one with all the lights. Alright. There's lots of lights over here. Yep, there is. Just just stand there, that's it. Don't move. Alright, Mr. Gibson, Gibson how, how, how many, many drinks, drinks have you had tonight? tonight? Oh, just a couple. Just, just a couple. You, you tell me you haven't had, had anything to drink. Well, I thought you were just going to let me go if I said I hadn't had anything to drink. Right, well, well I, I can smell alcohol and I can tell you you were drinking, so I wasn't going to be letting, letting you go, okay? Hi. Alright, right. Um, I'm going to grab a breathalyzer and we're going to get you to blow into it to, de to determine your alcohol, okay? I'm echoing. Alright. So just give me one second, I'll grab the the thingy. Okay.
It's better now because I I muted myself. Titan. Is it fixed now? Alright. Mr. Gibson, have you ever blown into one of these before? I have been through this before. Yep, I'm not surprised. Alright. So it's gonna be the same thing as last time, you're gonna blow into this tube until I say stop, okay? Blow whenever you're ready. Alright. One continuous breath. Alright, go ahead and stop. Alright, gonna give it a second for a, a reading, okay? You see this, Zach? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yep. Well, Mr. Gibson, congratulations. Do I want a prize? Yeah, the prize is you're going to jail again for driving under the influence. The legal limit is 0 0.08, you blew a 0 0.13. That sounds like a high score. Oh, oh, it's it's a, it's a very high score, sir. So go ahead and sit, sit in the back of my car. Sir, is there anything in the vehicle that we should know about? You know, just my, you know, to go order from uh, the Up and Adam. Can you grab that for me? Am I allowed to take that with me? Uh, you know, I was looking forward yeah, to it. Yeah, okay, I'll take look into her. that. Hang out here. Oh. Ouch. Definitely did some damage to the fusion. Yeah. Definitely banged her up. She definitely got a bit of damage in to her. I have to listen to this door ding continuously. Yeah, I see the bag and um, up and at him right here. Yeah, it looks like I got some empty beer bottles back here. Yeah, well, I found one one beer can on on him on ugh, I can't even talk on him in person, um, and then whatever you just found. It's been a long day. Oh, nice. Yeah. All right. You called for a tow, didn't you, Zach? Yeah, I can handle it if you need to take it. Yeah, she's got a bit of damage here to the front. He's, he's not such a good driver when he's intoxicated. I agree. Yeah, if you're right here, then I'll take him down to the station. Yeah, I'll be good here. Uh, when I get back tonight, I'll go back and switch my vehicle as well. I didn't realize you pulled out the ghost. Oh, you're right. But, um, yeah, it's up to you. I'll see you out there. Thanks for responding. Right. Yep, no problem. Nope. You know I got your bag jumping? I'm up the front with that. Did you grab my, my, my burger? Sorry, what was that? Did you, did you grab my burger? I collected a bag full of burgers. It's on the passenger seat. Uh, Mr. Gibson, at this time you are being placed under arrest for driving under the influence. You do have the right to remain silent. 
Anything you say or do may and will be used against you in the court of law. You have the right to an attorney. If you cannot afford one, one will be appointed to you. Do you understand? Yeah, I understand. Alright, we're gonna we're gonna head down to the station now, okay? Alright. Alright, heading down to the station. Lincoln 320 in route to Mission Row with 1 times 10 15. Take him down to the station. 56. And rear ended. Feel like we're going to get rear ended again here. Yeah, he definitely was driving like a drunk. <laughs> Mr. Gibson, why do you keep going out and getting drunk and then driving? Uh, life is hard. Life is hard. <laughs> life is hard, so I go and get drunk. Do you want to elaborate a little bit more, Mr. Gibson? Well, you know, I can't keep a job, and it's just, it's hard. So... And sometimes the only escape is a drink. It lets me forget for a little while. Right. So, but you, you keep going to jail and getting arrested for the same thing over and over again and you're not learning your lesson. No, probably not. Is it just me, or is it time we need something better? This is like your second or third DUI in, I don't know, a year or something. Yeah, it's been a rough year. Well, unfortunately, I think that's going to get a bit rougher. Yeah, okay. We're a family here. But, Kinsman, is it a spleen to go? Why can't you hold a job? Because it's a tough market out there, you know? Get a job, but then, you know, the companies just lay you off because, you know, they can't afford to keep as many workers as they used to. Are you sure they're not laying you off because you keep going out and getting drunk? No, I don't think that's the issue. You don't see that as an issue? <laughs> well, I mean, it could be an issue, but it's not going to work drunk. I just, you know, get drunk after work. Right. <laughs> So, so what, I understand why you're going and drinking, so what makes you then get in the car and think it's okay to drive? Well, cause I still gotta get places. Even though you're highly intoxicated? Oh yeah, you still gotta go from point A to point B. What about all these other road users that are on the road doing the right thing and then you ram into one of them cause you're under the influence? Well, yeah, I don't really run into in anybody yet. Yeah, yet, being the operative word in that sentence. Look at him. What happens the next time you do run into somebody? Well, it's probably 
probably not gonna be good. Well, I right, some more jail time. I can tell you, it's already not good. There's nothing wrong going out and drinking, it's then driving, that's the issue. I think this guy's going to jail, unfortunately. Alright, Mr. Gibson, go ahead and step out of the vehicle, sir. I believe you've been here a few times, so let's go ahead and walk this way. Lincoln yeah. 3 2010. I know this building. 1097 well. Emission Row. Forgot the 10 code almost. You know this building pretty well. What cell do you normally go in, Mr. Gibson? Oh, I've been in at least the first two cells. Right, have you got a favorite? I don't think they've ever put me in the third one. No, they don't put the name. Well, let's go in lucky number one. Alright, Mr. Gibson, if you turn around, I'll take the cuffs off for you. There you go. Alright, I'm going to have a look in this bag. Do we give him his up and at him? Do we give him a burger or something from it? What do you what do you reckon? Do we be nice? Why won't you go through there, Shannon? One double burger and a large fry. He could choke on he could choke on it and try and kill himself though. I don't know. Do we give him his, do we give him the burger? That's what I wanna know. I don't know. We we could be nice and give him the burger. No, he broke the law. <laughs> we can still give him his burger though, Dan. We could be we could be a tad nice, he's going to jail. I'm pretty sure he's not <laughs> getting out of this one. On a bail. Cause See, we're up to a felony three right here because he's done it multiple times now. He did the wrong thing repetitively. Uh, okay. It looks like he's not getting his burger then. <laughs> you guys have voted. So it's a felony three for this one. Did he have a valid license? He did, I'm surprised. I'm shook. Must have been him I could hear moving. Nope. It's Zach. Hey Sarge. 
How you doing? Yeah, they're Shannon's favourite glasses. I'm not going to charge him with fleeing and eluding. I mean, he rolled away. He then rolled into a, a friggin' fence and then a barrier. It was barely eluding. I mean, we could, but I won't. We could give him property damage, though. He did break a fence and a barrier. God, that's a felony three as well. <laughs> Rip. Oh, no, that's property. That's grand theft. Okay, we don't want that. Prohibiting possession, possession, possession. Uh, what's it under? Uh, I'm good, Sarge. How are you, dude? Um, Zach, what is... What do you mean, what is what? Um, look under the Ds. Damaging unattended vehicle or property. Oh, yeah, that could be it. Dealing in stolen property. I mean, we could just go with the damaging unattended vehicle or property. I mean, he did take out a sign and all that. Criminal mischief. Yeah, it could be that as well. I mean, they're both felony twos. Ah, uh, misdemeanor twos, sorry. Or have got public property. Let's just give him the misdemeanor one. He's already going to jail anyway. It's, it's not a huge deal. Driving under the influence. Yeah, I'm already getting him for the felony three though, Zach. That's alright, we'll go with this one. I'm trying to... Yeah, that's alright. Uh, misdemeanor two is 10,000 and misdemeanor one is 20. That penal that penal code is wrong. That needs rewriting. Yeah, I agree, Sarge. I think that makes sixty thousand dollars in bail. We're not gonna get him for fleeing and eluding. He didn't really elude. Thumbs up from there. Um, yeah, I think that'll work. Mr. Gibson, are you still awake? Yeah, I'm still here. Alright, go ahead and step up for me, please. Alright, you are being charged with... Um, Driving under the influence for multiple offences, okay? You've already been charged prior to this two or three times for the same thing and you're not learning. So that's a felony three, okay? You're also getting charged All with right. criminal mischief because you did take out that um, fence back there when you rolled away and you also slammed into a wall, okay? So you have $60,000 in bail or you can be incarcerated um, until you see a judge. What would you like to do? Yeah, send me to jail. Send you to jail? Yeah. Alright. I need your left thumbprint on this piece of paper. So he puts his hands up. <laughs> uh. There you go. Alright. Now, Mr. Gibson, this is like your third or fourth, oh, sorry, yeah, your second to fourth, I don't know, I've lost count of how many DUIs you've had, but, um, you need to start learning your lesson, you're obviously going to jail now, and you won't be out for a little bit, but, I mean, you're going to have to start learning from this, otherwise you're going to be in a serious accident, or worse, and be in jail for just a lot longer. Alright, yeah, yeah. Alright, 
You're going to hang out in here probably for another hour and a booking officer will take, take you up to another holding cell, okay? Alright. Alright. And your, um, your up and Adam burger is evidence, I'm sorry, sir, so you won't be getting that. Oh, but it looks so good. It does look really good. I just looked at it on the table, and I, I almost wanted to eat it myself. But, um, unfortunately, it's, it's going up to the locker room for evidence, okay? Fine. Alright, Mr. Gibson, this booking office is going to take you. You have a good one. Try and get, try and get some help or something. What's Brandon's number? Ten. Uh, we'll go three minutes. Fake him. Wasn't Zach just here? There was an officer behind me. It was Zach, wasn't it? Don't know. I guess he left. I guess he was like, I'm getting the fuck out of here. Yeah, we're rocking the traffic vest. I personally like the traffic vest a lot, to be honest. Lincoln 320, I'll be clear back tonight. Alrighty, we're back 10 8, so let's go back out on patrol. Pretty sure we did all that paperwork. I think that we signed it and everything. Yep. That's all signed and delivered. What the hell? Hey, you said you'd be here by now, honey. Looks like the unmarks are real popular today. Why, how many is there out there? Uh, us two plus the unmarked shaft are sitting out front with a cop and I don't know who it was. Oh, okay. I might switch then because I, I don't want too many unmarks. Yeah, I was going to ask if he wanted to switch. He was only a probie. Oh, okay. Yeah. Right, I'll double back to you. It was. Alright. Yeah, I'm not too fast. I just don't want too many out there, but, um, I'll see you out there. Yep. Yep, sounds good. See ya. We'll make a ride on red, I guess. Whenever I drive a marked unit, everyone drives a marked unit, and then when the one time I want to drive an unmarked or something, everyone's like, oh, we'll drive it unmarked. And I'm not a fan of everyone driving unmarks at once, so if I see too many, I'll probably just go and jump in a marked car. I guess. Which is okay. We might get onto the highway and head over to Vespucci. Save going through all the red lights.
like a 94 back there. Oh my god. The, the AI edits are ridiculous. They're so bad. So, so bad. And then now we've got two log trucks. I love seeing the log trucks. never know what's going to happen here with these AI. Like, look at how bad a lane change that was. Horrendous. Starting the patrol off strong. One arrest, I like it. How is everyone in the stream? Hope everyone's had a good night or a day. I'm not sure what time zone everyone's in. Gotta do something really quick. I don't know if I have any food or water on me. Tiring day. Yeah, my day was kind of similar to be honest, Dan. I think we have some food on the passenger seat. It's definitely not Mr. Gibson's um, Appenatum Burger though. It's our own burger. We have three of them. I think that'll work for me. There we go. We might have to stop at a shop to get some more. going to be a pretty big week at work I think Dan for me
Surf lifeguards are out. Oh god, the AI are just ramming into people. About work, Dan. I mean, it's not too bad. Just leaves you a bit tired. If that's what you're talking about. How's work been for you, Dan? Hi there, Mr. Richards. We might sit down this alleyway for a little bit. Do a U-turn. You never know, someone might go flying down it. Down the um, road. Yeah, it's pretty much the same at my work as well, Dan. Some days are busier than others. I think most jobs are like that. Hey, bro, you sound happy. Hi. No, I'm just chilling out. I'm saving up for the collector's edition. Where to next is the question. We could go further south a little bit. A bit further. Shannon better put her glasses back on. There we go. Forgot they weren't on. Repair. San Andreas Lincoln 593 is going to be on 1050. Just off of Strawberry Avenue on Integrity Way. If I can get one at times additional. Lincoln 181 en route, what was your 20? Uh, postal is going to be between 202 and 396 on Integrity Way in the tunnel. 
them for. I'm Traffic's got in the tunnel. We're gonna get re-rendered. Yep, there it is. Ah. Oh. Damn my eye. He's probably gonna rear end us again. Hello. Hey Pan, how are you buddy? How you doing? Old Pete's hook and toe is now in service. No idea what was just said on the radio. Sunset looks quite nice in the distance. Might try and get a screenshot before it goes. I think that's the plan. chat get a screenshot hey Ted, old buddy how you keep it what do you reckon I think that looks pretty decent Pretty nice charger when you're just taking a photo of it, actually. It's pretty nice. Looks great with the sunset, I agree, Titan. Definitely agree. That car is just parked in a red zone. I mean, why not, I guess? Well, this is where Ryan lives. We should see if Ryan's home. We'll see if Ryan is home. Oh, that was a bit of lag. Oh. Get some of that. No, I'm not the only cop in the server. There's actually three more, Dan. Ryan. Ryan, are you home? I don't think Ryan's home, chat. Ryan. Looks like he's missing. 
I don't know who that's a picture of. <laughs> Even better, Dan. Andreas Lincoln 593, show me back 10 8. Hmm, I guess he's not home. Pretty sure this is the bathroom. Yeah, I guess I guess he's not home. Well, rip. Maybe he went out of town or something. I think we'll go down there. I thought about it and then decided no. We know what she's up to. San Andreas, Lincoln 593, show me on another 1050 Pillbox Hill Medical Center off of Strawberry Avenue. Ambulance is wrecked into a pole. <laughs> really Ambulance wrecked into a pole. There it is. Finally, what it takes to get you on the line. Like a stop sign, a red light on the corner, and a red light above but they were all different colours and a stop sign, like it made no sense at all. Zero sense to me. Pretty sure that's AI. Jesus. She can really drive that car, can't she? Are deployed. Love your ride, hon. I'm so excited. Hey, you played outdoors right. on tonight. I'm so addicted to that show. These AI are just loving the wheel spin. Check out some of these alleyways.
gotten very quiet. And then we hear an ambient ambulance siren. Either that or it's leaving that Mount Zona hospital right there. It's probably the second one. Long as a red light. Three. I'm gonna need one ton heavy ten seventy to let this ambulance out of here. Sounds like the ambulance is destroyed. Get 593, 1070 just rolled up. I'm gonna be here in case you need something. And that's a fire truck. Must have got a call. Big truck behind us. Sounds like the road's been blocked on Strawberry, probably for that tow truck. That would be my guess. Oh god. That AI just rear-ended that SUV. truck is literally on my ass. I don't know if he could have really got any closer. You 
must get mad action in that thing. It's like everyone's abiding by the road rules. San Andreas 593, we got one past 1031 in progress. 1031? Location. We're going to be outside Pillbox Hill Medical Center attempting to locate lost eyes on the vehicle. Vehicle description. It's going to be a black two door six, uh, signal 66. Cobby. Oh, he's chasing an AI. Could it have been grey? Because that guy's moving. Was that a car? Was it a muscular? Um, negative. It wasn't a muscle car. It was some sort of uh, two-door sedan. Heavy front-end damage. Three twenty. What did the subject look like? African American female, Afro, multicolored clothing. Uh, I don't think that's her. She doesn't look African American. Yeah, it's just fine with 31. You can go ahead and, and disregard and turn 10 8. God, that ambient siren is horrific. I think this is AI. Yep, AI, just doing 53 in the city. Seems legit. What the actual fuck? Lincoln 320, I'll be out with a tow truck driver eastbound San Andreas and Sinner Street. Fuck. You fucking cunt of an old truck. Oh god, this guy's pretty angry. Sir, are you okay? Well, I'm not too bad. Not sure if this is the officer from the scene I towed this from, but 
Jesus, it's been a bloody hell of a morning. Right, well, what happened here? Like, yeah. it looks like you've got a bit of an issue. Well, the tow rope snapped, didn't it? Well, I, I don't know. I don't mean to tell you how to do your job or anything, but I mean that have a, that ambulance looks a lot bigger than your tow truck. Well, <laughs> it is. I mean, it probably wouldn't have snapped if we didn't get rear-ended at the last intersection, but, it, uh, yeah. Well. What's, what's your name, sir? I'm Old Pete. Old Pete. You got a last name, Old Pete? Oh, well, the name's Peter Montgomery, but, uh, yeah, I go by Old Pete from Old Pete's Tow and Go. Yeah, that's the one. Okay, gotcha. Have you got another tow truck that can come down here and, you know, move these two these two vehicles off the, off the sidewalk and off the road? Well, the smaller one's okay, but, um, well, the, the tow truck's okay, but... Well... I don't mean to tell you, but the tow truck kind of isn't okay. She's missing all the brake lights. Oh. Shit. Didn't actually notice that. Uh, <laughs> well, if, if I can get a ride to the mechanic shop, I can probably pick up one of the flatbeds if they're back from all the jobs. I mean, uh, Zach, you right away out here and I'll go and take him to see if we can get another tow truck. Yeah, I can wait down here. Sorry. That's okay. I figured you must have been having a nap while you were leaning there. Oh, uh, yeah. Next to kill on me. Mr. Montgomery, you got any weapons on you or anything like that that we need to know about? Oh shit, no. Alright, just one condition to come in my car, sir. Um, the, the officer over there is going to give you a light frisk, okay? Is that okay? Ah, uh, yeah, that'll, that'll be fine. Okay. It's just for your safety and mine. Can't have you in my car if we don't search you. Yeah, I understand. You're good, Tom. Alright, so you're welcome to go and get in my charger and we'll head over there and get you another tow truck, okay? Alrighty. Alright, we should be back pretty, like, five, ten minutes. Sounds good. take this guy to get a, a new tow truck. How long have you been tow truck driving for, Mr. Montgomery? Pretty sure we've pulled him over before. Oh, bloody hell, must be coming on about 50 years year now. 50 years? He doesn't look that old. Yeah, that's right. Family business and everything. Started when I was, well, I mean, I was around tow trucks when I was about bloody three, but, um, Started driving for the company when I was uh, 16. Yep. Right, and how old are you now? <laughs> I don't think he's been drunk. Oh, sh Jesus. That's a good one, actually. <laughs> Bl bloody. The truck just. Oh, I don't. Be getting on there for 70, I think. Well, Mr. Montgomery, you only look like you're in your 50s. Oh, well that's very kind of you to say. I guess it must be all the, uh, all the oil and grease from picking up cars on my skin. I guess so. I mean, if you went and dyed your hair, you'd probably look even younger. Looks like your right, workers thanks. are back. I'll, um, yeah, I'll get one of them to bring the uh, big flatbed over. 
Right. Thanks for the lift. No worries. Film that shit. We should go to the LTD while we're here, actually. Lincoln 320 is clear back tonight. Zach's on scene with the, the two cars that need towing. That gentleman will head down there with a the tow truck and fix it all up, hopefully. Not really any need for us to go back there, I don't think. Go and see if we can buy some stuff from the shop. If we have enough money. Yes. Burgers. Yeah. Oh. Yes. Yes, please. Might help if we unlock the vehicle. Lincoln 320, I'll be en route to a robbery in progress. Rob's Liquor, Great Ocean Highway. Robbery in progress. If we don't crash. Lincoln 94, I'll be en route to that robbery in progress. And we're all the way on the other side of the map. Green light, clear. Clear these intersections. Green light realistically should mean we're pretty safe. Oh, don't do it. This could be fun, yeah. It's going to be in Chew Marsh on, at Rob's Liquor on the Great Ocean. Postals are going to be the 8 area, I believe. Look at 593 in route. Be advised, I'm still a way out.
Oh my god, why are we losing frames so badly? Looks like Wes is in front of us a little bit here. Three twenties, ten ninety seven. Three twenty. Does anybody see a vehicle in the area that could be a vehicle for the subject? Ten nine. You're unreadable for me. Yeah, there is one uh, parking lot beside. Copy, do you want to try and get the 1028 of that vehicle and just ride it down somewhere, just in case? Break. Break. 593. I got a Ford Raptor up towards the bank. Yeah, white male going your way. Black shirt. Blue. He's got a gun. Stop! Shots fired. Shots fired. We're going to need EMS to this location. Oh god, he fucking pulled a gun. You okay, Zach? Yeah, I'm good. You? Yeah, he raised that weapon. I, I didn't realize you you went to tase him again. Two shots make it count. First shot I hit him, I don't know how he fired off. Yeah, I'm gonna kick that weapon away. Just cover me. Covered. Alright, I'm just going to search him for any other surprises. See what we find on this guy. AP pistol. For some reason it doesn't tell us that he has money. The vehicle, I can get a search for you. Sir, can you hear me? Yeah, the vehicle is right up there around the corner. Around it, this, uh, lesson shop. Yeah, it might not be here, so we can't really search it just yet. I'll see if there's any car keys on him or anything. Okay. Man, this guy's gonna be on something if he is able to shoot after a taser shot. Yeah, Shannon shot someone again, unfortunately. Oh god, what's happening? I think Brandon stuffed up there. Yeah, that was a nice shot. I'm not gonna lie. So Shannon did shoot someone again. Yeah, Shannon seems to shoot somebody every patrol. <laughs> it's becoming second nature, I guess. I'm trying to find a pulse. He's, he's got a weak pulse. Alright, I'll get so many ones on the horn. Yeah, I did radio for one. You might just want an ETA. Alright. Yeah, Andreas, I can 593. Go ahead and roll in those 71s. 
Most of the time they deserve it, Sarge. <laughs> Oh, did you, man? Oh. I feel like Sarge is Kyle. I'm probably wrong, though. I feel like I've seen the name somewhere. I thought he was going to give up and then he raised the gun and I was like, no, I'm right, okay. I thought it was. Uh, uh, we're losing him. Sir, can you hear me? Right, I'm going to start CPR. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah. Looks like the medics are still a minute out. Okay. Yeah, traffic was a bitch trying to get here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I, I don't want to do mouth to mouth. <laughs> do we do mouth to mouth? I mean, do we really want to up here to that extent? I'm gonna get double check that store. Ah, uh, yeah, that's a very good idea. We kind of all just focused on him. It's hard when you've only got three cops though as well. No, I know Dan, but I was like, should we should we do mouth to mouth? I just don't know if I want to actually roleplay it to that extent. Mouth to mouth is no longer a thing. Pretty sure it still is a thing here. Ah, uh, medics. Yeah, he has two GSW wounds to the chest, and he's—I believe he was tased twice as well. Yeah, we've lost his pulse. Oh my god, where's his uniform? He's driving me up the wall. I hate people who don't wear the correct uniform. <laughs> it really, really irks me. Alright, yeah, you guys are clear to take him. Uh, we might, if he pulls through, let us know. We'll have a unit down there. We, there should already be a unit to follow you anyway. Yeah, okay, Sarge. It's clear, Zach. Yeah, back room's locked. Yeah. Okay. Medics are taking him away now. Uh, a county unit went down there with him, but if he pulls through, one of us will probably have to go down there as well. Yeah, okay. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, that's how I was trained when I did um, my first aid course as well, Dan. Oh, what the... What was that? I have no idea what that was. Big pop. 593, was that you shooting? 10-4, had to shoot the lock. Alright, I'm going to grab my camera and we'll secure the rest of that evidence over there. Copy. I'm going to double check that, uh, that truck out that I saw. I thought it was a Raptor, it might not be. Yeah, yeah, if anyone can... I've got a Nissan set of Nissan keys laying over there, if someone can find a Nissan. Yep, sounds good. I don't think we locked the car, nope. No, we didn't. We rolled up here nicely, I'm not gonna lie. Brandon almost got away with that money, to be honest. I mean, if we had been another... I don't know, maybe 15 seconds, but he probably would have been okay, to be honest. Wasn't it a mic camera? Oh, I don't know. No. Okay, I guess I'll just use player options. Mobile film... Paparazzi. Does this not work for female? This used to work for female peds. I don't know why it's not working. Mobile film. Yeah, I guess we'll just film the, the scene, I guess. <laughs> I mean, we have it on body cam as well. button. Rippity rip. San Andreas Lincoln 593. Need one times 1070 for a orange Nissan pickup truck. Nissan. I, I, I find it really comical how Americans call a Nissan a Nissan. Oh, did you damn? We call him a boot over here, not a trunk. Where's this car? Took a little bit of damage. I, it's probably desync though. Waiting on that too. Yeah, just got it in. I'm gonna wait up here for him. Yeah, truck's clean, so there's nothing in it, Tom. Yeah, okay. Um, I've got the. It looks like maybe more than 20 grand there in that duffel bag. I've got it in my trunk. Um, 
I'm gonna probably just call up the owner now and just um, obviously we'll be keeping it as evidence and stuff but um yeah I'll try and get on the horn with him and stuff and then I'll clear off if you're if you guys are all good yeah I'm gonna do 28 on that plate for the truck so yeah can you remember what the name was for the ID that we found over there uh, Jack Hickens I think Hang on, I'll run that while you're all yeah, here. I believe. Alright. I'm gonna pull my car down a little bit. No, it's Nissan. Not Nissan. Or Nissan, or however the fuck you people call her. Well, that guy's going to jail. I, I don't even know if he's pulled through. Uh, if it'll let you, Sarge. Three twenty five ninety three direct. Go. 28 on this truck down here, Titan 1, hey, RO Jack up. Hickens, insurance, no flags. Copy. Alright, we will ring the manager. Four, gonna be oh, I don't think we'd have to shoot somebody. I should just expect it when I'm Shannon from now on, I think. Can these not be deleted? I'll ask Zach if he can delete them. Hey Zach. Yeah. Um, will those barricades go back in your car? Because I, I can't seem to pick them up. Yeah, that's true, Sarge. Let's see. Yeah, I, I can't pick them up for some reason. I can, I can, like, push them over and stuff, but that's about it. Yup, Sarge, they are. Ryan wants yeah, to redo the Impala. Yeah, yup, I agree. Well, I'm gonna clear off, try, um, take these, um, the bags and money and all that back to the station. God, I can't talk today. Sounds good. I'll be here for the tow truck. Alright, sounds good. Yeah, I think Ryan was talking about redoing the livery for the Impala. He he doesn't like it enough or something. Run it over with the card. That's that looks really good though. Not. <laughs> oh, it's funny. I mean, we can see if it works. I guess. No, I think it just breaks them. It's worth a try, though. I mean, it, some of it disappeared. The middle bits disappear. Brandon, yeah, that could have gone a lot better for you. We're no right for us. Apart from Shannon, she had to shoot another person, but... It is what it is, I guess. We'll just merge, I guess. Peace, 
That AI at its rear end of the truck. I'm not gonna lie, Brandon, whenever you do them, it just never seems to go your way. Yeah, they'll probably disappear that we're leaving the area now. I would imagine. Could be wrong though. It's in the wrong lane. Oh my god, what are you doing? You idiot. Safety vest, Shannon, yes. Gotta have the safety vest. I do like the safety vest. It's a very good piece of equipment. It must be my internet why I can't hear them sometimes. Oh, I don't know, because sometimes they clear like that. It's Wes that's always broken up. I don't know why. I've, maybe it's his internet. I don't know. <laughs> I mean, if you hadn't have jumped the guardrail and maybe looped up or maybe just kept running straight, you might have actually got to the car, Brandon. I'm not really sure. Hey Psycho, how are you buddy? I don't know, it's a it's a tough one to judge, Brandon. Oh, did we? I want to get up on that curb a little bit. Seemed a bit broken to me, this thing. It was rattling funny. Uh, yeah, I don't know, Brandon. We were all there for me. Ostias. Uh, what? Did I just get split servered? Yep, I just got split servered. That's what just happened then. What the actual fuck? 320's 10 0. Stream went down as well. Did it? Someone confirm or deny? Stream's still up for me, Sarge.
Stream's still up for me. It's just buffering a lot. I think my internet literally just said that's enough. Yeah, I think it's partly my internet as well, Dan, to be honest. It's all good now, okay. I'll have to open the CAD back up. As soon as the car disappeared, I knew I'd split servered. Oh well. We were all, almost back to the station too. It died for a little bit? Oh, okay. I think my internet took a shit for a second then, to be honest. That's what I'm going with. Five nine three. Show me on the property check at the North Rockford Golf Course. Standby for postal. Five nine three. That postal is going to be six. All right, six we're in the server with everyone, everyone else now. Six, six, I guess we'll walk down to the station. Well, goodbye to my charger, I guess. Rip. Oh god. Really, Sarge?
There's an explorer right out the front. Rip the rip the charger, yeah. Whose car is that? Somebody's or is that AI's? We could just take that explorer. Oh, I think it's Wes's. We won't take it then. <laughs> we don't want to take somebody else's car. I would take the charger, but I can't be bothered going and doing it back up again with the colour and all that. So I think I think we'll pass on that. Um, we'll just go to the Vic. Are you asking, did I? Because I didn't. What extras are on this? Gotta have a ram. Oh, I don't know. We don't really need a ram, but. Lincoln 593 is 10 8. We'll take the old Vic out. I'm not a fan of the Shafter pan, to be honest. I'm, I'm really not. Some people in the server really like it, hence the reason it's there, but I'm just not a fan. Bicycle patrol. Does Wes want to talk to me? Because he's doing a U-turn. How's my uniform now? Um, um, hang on. I think there's darker trousers, um, and you're missing a gun. Oh, am I? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I'd, I'd hate for you to get in a gun battle, Wes. Yeah, let me go grab that gun real quick. Bloody probationaries. I'm pretty sure there's darker black pants though. They look very shiny. Alright. Yeah, the guns in necks and scarves and um I, I'm not sure the, of the pants number. But um I'll let you figure that out. Have fun. Ah, uh, yeah, you too. Stay safe. It always makes me laugh, people finding it hard to do their uniform. It's something so simple. It just cracks me up. It really aggravates me, though, when people just don't look, you know, the same as each other. It's like it's a uniform. Everyone's meant to look the same. Yeah. Yep, exactly, Sarge. It drives me up the wall. And there's literally an EUP catalogue. It, it just irks me really badly. I like everything. You know, oh my god, why are you doing a wheelie, dude? It's not necessary. just like real life. Yeah, exactly, Dan.
Catching the greens. Uh, spoke too soon. <laughs> Imagine leaving that on five. Five ninety three attempted. Yeah, to, uh, catch same up with the driver. It's been driving recklessly. Yeah, I, I, it's just one of my peeves as well, dude. I like this levery a lot on the Crown Vic. Looks amazing. Five nine three is gonna be at ten thirty one. Gonna be southbound Los Lagunas Boulevard. Uh, it's AI. It's literally an AI. 320-1097 with that vehicle. We're southbound peaceful. Westbound Vespucci. No, host, Jay-Z. Still westbound Vespucci, passing Ginger, approaching South Five Rockford, nine. TC, Now westbound San Andreas, southbound at Bay City. This is AI? What the hell? Still southbound Bay City. Speed's approaching 90. Still southbound Bay City, approaching Magellan. What are you doing, stupid AI? Going back northbound, Bay City. Trying to box TC, them. big TC. TC, Bay City and Palomino. He's still continuing northbound. He's now making a left turn. Westbound, Vitus. Northbound Magellan. Turning eastbound on some road. Northbound on Bay City. Still northbound on Bay City. Still northbound. Oncoming lanes. Northbound Playa Vista. Just spun out. Dan, thanks for the host, that's what I wanted to see. Kono Color Color. What's 
This is an AI, I'm not really overly fussed with it, that's why it's so unlegit. Turning southbound, entering Interstate 2. Southbound, Bay City incline, coming back up to Bay City. Southbound Bay City. He's crashed into a hedge. We got a flashlight out. Really, Shannon? This guy's gonna... Shots fired. Southbound Bay City, 593 Storm, pursuit, suspect took off. Fucking rammed a unit. She's running. Where is she? How's you see her? Yeah, he's on your front left. Pink sand, pink shirt, can. Ah, uh, copy. My hip. My hip. Subjects now running northbound Red Desert Ave. Taser deployed. Roller 1071, the old subject seems to have suffered a heart attack. Be advised he's about 90, he's probably unlikely. Fucking hell. Yeah, the locals give you a harder pursuit than, you know, other people. What the fuck was that? Oh my god. Yeah, that was something. He rammed me up by the center of Los Santos Customs, took off, I had to chase around to find him for a minute, and then you joined in. Yeah, yeah, he's pretty, pretty crazy. Holy cow. Well, he's in custody now. I think, I think this heart attack's put on, to be honest. Give me a couple minutes to reload my taser. I could probably use it as an AED. Clear. <laughs> Sir, can you hear me? Yeah, he's got a pulse. Yeah, his breathing also looks normal. Sir, I think you can hear us and I think you're putting it on. Yeah, we had him boxed in the uh, back up of that hedge, but he wouldn't give up. Oh, we had him boxed in multiple times. Sorry, I missed all the fun. I had a little vehicle trouble. I don't know if you missed your fun. Your car's probably the only one that looks decent around here now. Yeah, no kidding. Ours is pretty wrecked up. Yeah, he hit me a couple of I times. I saw yours down there. I started shooting at him because he nearly I saw reversed yours down into. There in the street. Yeah, I shot at him because he reversed in nearly into me, and then he rammed into you, Zach. So I was like, "Fuck this dude." Yeah. Well, 
Hell, I didn't even know he was a 66 until, uh, until we shot him. I, I honestly thought he was a, a, um, a person, like another local, when he went flying at like 80 past me, drifting around that corner on Las Lagunas. Yeah, I, I wouldn't be surprised. The locals just cannot handle the realistic driving that they should be doing. Yeah. No, it's it's hurting them. Looks like medics are rolling up now. Yep, I'm gonna get a double check and make sure my car's still there. Yeah. You want me to give you a ride down? Eh, nah, I can manage it. Alright. You want to hang out here with the medics for a minute, Wes? He's just been tased once. Yeah, I got him. Sarge, thanks for the 100 bits, dude. I appreciate it. I really do. What is he running for? Oh, I said my his explorer would be better looking than mine. Yeah, no. I'm I'm gonna assume that's um, desync, but that's destroyed. My Crown Vic actually looks better, and I was involved in a pursuit. Hello. This is how the Crown Vic's look, isn't it? With little scrapes like that and bits of damage on the front. That scratch there looks pretty real, realistic. Oh Jesus! Give me that finger, you old prick. We should have arrested that old prick, to be honest. Alright guys, I am ending the stream there. I unfortunately have to go to bed because I have work tomorrow early in the morning, so that's what's happening here. Um, we'll raid to hell, but um, thanks everyone for watching. It's been a hoot. It's been some interesting calls, a bit of fun. That's what I like to see. Um, so yeah, we're going to raid to hell. And I'll see you guys all next time. Thanks for the bit, Sarge, and thanks to everyone else for watching.